What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic with another awesome creation that I think is going to be the first creation in a series of creations working towards a much bigger creation. That's a lot of creations, but that's of course this right here, which is a coaxial helicopter. Now in university, I actually worked on a remote controlled version of one of these and it's a really cool way of making a helicopter. And basically it is a normal helicopter, except there's no tail rotor. And instead we have two counter rotating blades, one on top of each other. So they're the exact same size blades. They have the exact same pitch of angle on each of the rotors, but they're spinning in opposite directions. So one side of the airfoil you can see is faced the one way and the other airfoil is faced the other way. And by controlling the speed at which each of these spins, we can actually control the torque output from the rotor, which in turn can control the actual steering of this helicopter. So a lot of helicopters you'll see have the tail rotor on the end with a single rotating blade on it. And then they also have the rotor on top of the helicopter. And the tail rotor is used mainly to offset the torque that's generated from the main rotor. So just like in real life, Scrap Mechanic does generate torque from a rotating bearing. And so the tail rotor on a helicopter will counteract that torque as well as give the pilot the ability to spin the helicopter in one way or another. But with a coax, we don't do that. Instead, all we do is we adjust the speed of one rotor relative to the other to control the torque. So we'll give you a little example about how that works. It has a W controlled thruster to move it forward. Normally a real helicopter would do this with swash plates by adjusting the angles that the rotors are at. Like the coax that we built in real life, it had a plate on it which would adjust the bottom rotor angle and then the top rotor angle would free float according to momentum and it would balance it out. And really simply that would allow the helicopter to go forward just by adjusting the angle that the bottom rotor was at. But I didn't do that in this. It seemed like it would be a little too much to fit into a small area. So instead of doing all that, I used a single forward thruster to power this helicopter. And you'll notice it's actually in between the two rotors. And that's just because it actually helps keep it balanced. This helicopter doesn't have anything to stabilize it other than the fact that the lift is above the weight. So the mass of the helicopter is down below and it's balanced so that the weight of the helicopter is even on all sides. So you can see most of the controls are actually just in this one little plate here. And all this here on the back is just metal to try and offset the weight of the front here with the seat and everything else. So the controls for this helicopter are really simple. One will spin the rotors faster and you can hold it to keep increasing the speed. And eventually that'll cause you to go up. Two does the opposite. It'll actually rotate them backwards eventually and it'll decrease the speed. So again, using one and two, you control the speed to control the height. I know in a real helicopter, a lot of the time, this is done actually by adjusting the angle that the blades are at rather than adjusting the speed the blades are spinning. But in this case, I wanted to make sure the blades stay straight because I didn't want to have a bearing on a high rotating object. I know sometimes Scrap Mechanic likes to pull those objects apart. So this way, the rotors kind of stay together and it's just a single bearing to spin the rotor itself with a fixed angle. So I thought that would be a better solution. And then of course, three is actually just the kill button. So we can press one and we can press two. And if you ever need to just completely cut the throttle, three, you press it once and it'll completely reset the throttle to zero. So you've probably figured out how we're doing this. There's three buttons on the front there. They're actually painted very specific colors for a reason and it's increasing and decreasing a counter block. So as you hold one, you're increasing the value to a counter block. And as you press three, you reset that value on that counter block to zero. And if you press two, you're decreasing the counter block value. Now, of course, the thruster is controlled just by pressing W. There's no reverse, S does nothing. But to actually spin the helicopter, we have to adjust the torque. So we can speed them up just a little bit because they will rotate at fast speeds. You can see they're both rotating perfectly. And if we press A, you'll actually see the bottom one starts rotating a lot slower and the top one's rotating a lot faster. Now they adjust their speeds with an identical value to each other. So it doesn't actually change the overall lift of the helicopter. The helicopter stays at the same height, but it does change the torque. So now the top rotor is generating more torque than the bottom rotor and it rotates the entire body of the helicopter. And then if we press D, you can see it does the same thing, but in the opposite direction. So the top rotor is still spinning, but not as fast. The bottom rotor is spinning faster. And as a result, it'll rotate the helicopter in the other direction. Now, it seems like a really crazy ratio. You're going to say, well, holy cow, that bottom rotor is slowing down. But when we actually want to lift off here, we got to hold one and you'll just see how much speed it actually takes to lift off. So you'll notice a lot of speed, and now if we press D, it'll rotate the body in the one direction, and you can't really notice the change in speed of the two rotors, but they are still doing that same principle where the one rotor is changing speed relative to the other, and of course, it makes for a really awesome coax helicopter. So we can just, you know, hold W and just fly around a little bit, and the body of the helicopter, you'll notice, does kind of sway back and forth a little bit, especially when you rotate left and right. 
but again that's because we have no stabilization on it and no controls that actually adjust the roll or the pitch or anything like that it all just free floats it's just a free floating weight and really i wanted to build this helicopter just to prove number one the improvement on the wings mod compared to the gyrocopter and number two i wanted to see if we could actually do a controlled helicopter by controlling torque at the end of the day i want to work towards a full-scale helicopter that will adjust the rotors properly with a swash plate and do all that and have a single rotor that's adjusted with a plate and then also have an entire tail mechanism on the back and i want to be able to control the two relative to each other so i think i'm still going to go by controlling the speed of the rotor spins at in order to move it up and down I know it would be much better to actually do it properly with a bearing for each blade and adjust the angle of the blade to move it up and down to have the rotor spin at a constant speed. But the problem I have with adjusting the blade angle is the fact that bearings, when you rotate them, they kind of fling out and they look really weird. And you can see here, these rotors, although they're spinning really fast, because each rotor is one solid piece, it actually just kind of stays intact and looks a little bit better. So I definitely would like to do a new helicopter that has a single rotor and then a tail fin. But I wanted to just prove that the actual, you know, torque controlled steering was a possibility and torque controlled everything is possible with these awesome little coax helicopters. And of course, I wanted to look at the wings mod again and make a helicopter. A few people were asking me to make a helicopter after the last video with the gliders. Now, this doesn't use the drag reducer block. It doesn't need to. Obviously, it's just flying straight up. So it doesn't fly the quickest you can see, but it will move around the map and uh, we're just going to slow down the rotor speed a lot here to uh, sort of come down. Overall, I am really happy with this build. It's a nice, cool little mini copter and it's super useful to fly around the map. Now, of course, it does use the mod pack for those smart engines, which, you know, allows you to control the speed of the two rotors relative to each other with the A and D. And then, of course, we've got the wings mod for those 15 degree rotor blades. So it actually uses a very shallow rotor blade. Uh, we could have done the 30 or the 45 but this way you have to actually kind of spin the rotor a little bit faster to get it to fly up and it looks a little bit better. It's actually really fun to fly this thing and uh, it does fly super well. It, it tilts a little bit, angles a little bit, but of course it will stabilize itself just with its own weight and uh, it is basically just a metal brick, but really, really fun to fly. I really enjoy it and I really enjoyed making it. It's a lot of fun and it's definitely a cool little helicopter to prove that we can in fact use torque properly to control movement, which I think is just absolutely awesome. The gyrocopter that I did before was just absolutely terrible and I mean it, it worked but with the angle adjustments and all the bearings the rotors would come flying apart it just had all these thrusters going everywhere and it really wasn't as stable a flyer as this you can see this isn't the quickest flyer but it's a super functional helicopter and it's super small and super portable and I mean we could you know even mount spud guns or something onto this if we really wanted to but it's just a nice little helicopter to use to fly around and uh, let's just not hit that. Thank you. We're not going to hit that tree. I will, of course, upload this to the workshop, but I will warn you, don't paint the logic blocks. Those two purple ones on the bottom you can paint, but I can't remember. There's a few white ones that are important that they stay white because we are, in fact, just controlling the speed of the smart engines. We're not giving the smart engines any angle. We're just giving it a speed in the one direction and a speed in the other. And of course, then we're adjusting those speeds relative to each other when we press A and D. But a really, really cool concept. I'm really glad it works in Scrap Mechanic. There's a lot of stuff in real life that you can take and bring into Scrap Mechanic and apply the principle to. And I'm really happy that it works. Like I said, this is a project that I've actually done in real life before with remote controls. And I think it's super, super awesome. You can have a helicopter that flies without a tail rotor. And there are a few examples of this helicopter in real life. They're not very common because obviously having two rotors stacked on top of each other is a very complicated mechanism with this. In Scrap Mechanic, we have that one block you'll see below the thruster. And that block is actually a single block suspension piece from the mod pack. We could have done it with a piston as well, and it would have done the same thing and just have the piston go through because there's no collisions on that block. It's possible. But in real life, when we did it, we actually had a double axle system. So it was a single axle inside of a second axle. So the top axle was actually a solid rod. And then the bottom axle was big and hollow. And the two axles came together and went to two separate motors in the bottom using a gearing system. So it's very complicated to deal with. And it's really a pain in the butt to deal with in real life. And I'm sure on a full scale helicopter, not even remote control, it would be even more difficult. So I'm pretty sure that's why these aren't exactly a huge common design, but it's definitely a lot of fun to have in Scrap Mechanic. And I mean, this is another cool creation for Scrap Mechanic survival. We could take the back area there and replace the metal with fuel tanks if there are fuel tanks and just have this thing sort of floating around exploring. And you can see when we stop, it'll just sort of waver a little bit. It'll kind of get that momentum, kill the momentum, 
and then you can see it'll eventually maintain a nice stable hover in one spot and we can of course go up and down and we can just you can see press two go down press one and go up and really one of my favorite flying creations so far i mean planes are obviously really really cool in scrap mechanic but i definitely want to build more helicopters because there's something just so fascinating about being able to fly around the map with a really simple helicopter and you can see this is super stable like we went to a stop went full zoom you know what, let's go into the canyon here um a little bit a little bit more difficult we might want to kill some speed let's see if we can fly down in this canyon i don't know how how good this is gonna go but it's super awesome how responsive the oh no that i tor torqued the wrong way to it can't hit anything if the rotor stops spinning we're screwed oh boy oh, okay okay let's just let's just chill right here okay okay we're gonna fly lower I'm gonna drop the speed it is a little bit difficult because we don't have direct roll control. It's all just based on gravity and stability. So as you move, the momentum has to, you know, go somewhere. But you can see really, really easy stuff. Don't hit the walls. Perfect. Love this creation. It's super fun to fly. All right. We're just going to keep going underneath this tree. We'll just work our way up this ramp. Amazing. Come on. Come on. Out of this. Out of this. Out of this perfect look at that look at that and then we can just hold one ramp up the rotors and we can fly like if we keep holding one it'll keep going way fast you can see we'll get that crazy smoke effect and we can really really climb and then of course we can press three and kill all of it but we'll just uh we'll slow it back down here perfect maintain a nice stable hover and really really easy to fly guys like i said no stability required no sort of stabilizers no suspension glitch controls none of that stuff it's actually all completely done just by gravity and of course by adjusting the two torques of those rotors so i'd love to hear what you guys think of this helicopter in the comments down below of course i'd love to hear what other kind of projects you'd like to see i know we've been doing a lot of flying projects recently i do want to do some other ground-based stuff as well i've just really been enjoying flight especially with that drag reducer block and then the suggestion came up to make a helicopter and i just thought well now that the wings mod is a little bit different than it was last time i tried a helicopter i really should see if it's possible and then of course eventually work towards making that fully realistic helicopter again but of course let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and while you're at it hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time